Okay, we're back. And here we are at his new friend's house. I forgot, I'm, I keep wondering why he's flirty, and I forgot that I made his one of his personality traits romantic. <laughs> Cause I keep asking myself, why does he keep becoming flirty all of a sudden? And then I realize it's because I put him in I put the romantic trait. This house is kind of wacky because uh, if someone made the house, but then I added a room or something. I added a room like I think I did something here, and it kind of got jacked up. <laughs> so that's why it looks a little weird. But it's a nice house nonetheless. There's a spaceship in the back because the person that lived here before was a scientist. And I kicked them out. But anyway, I might change his house anyway. I don't know yet. We'll see. But I hope he can keep his flirtiness so he can introduce himself. Hopefully she's home. I hope she's, she should be. Knock knock. Yay! Where are you? There she goes, right there. <coughs> Excuse me. Is she coming downstairs? There she goes. There she is. Isn't she cute? Hold on. Oh, okay. She's putting a book away. What's she doing? I still want to read a book. No, you don't go into someone's house and go on their computer. Anyways, her name is Simone Vitale, or Vital. And, like I said, she is a vampire. And she's a teen. She lives in this big old house all by herself. I know it's crazy. But she does. I don't really have a a backstory per se on her except the fact that she did have vampire parents but unfortunately unfortunately um both my parents got killed by a vampire hunter they found out that they were trying to reproduce and all that and but it took him a while to hunt them down, and when he finally hunted them down, he got them right, be right as right before Simone, you know, became a teenager, a young adult, a teenager. So she actually ended up catching the guy who, the guy who killed her parents. She found him and. Um, killed him basically. So she did get revenge on her parents' death. She got uh, revenge on her parents' death. Um, but yeah, they left her this big, huge house. Her father actually was a scientist too, so that's why I put her in this house because the person that lived in the house before left a spaceship, the rocket ship. And the telescope in the backyard, so I figured I'd put that there. Leave that there just in case she wants to become a scientist herself. Or an astronaut. But I am just having them talk and flirt and do all that cute stuff. And hopefully they can get a little relationship. It's Friday night, 9 o'clock at night. He doesn't have a curfew because his parents trust them and they, you know, that they know he's a good fucking boy, a good man, so. So, yeah. I just want to get their relationship up. Because, you know, like, in The Sims, you know, things move fast. <laughs> things move fast in the Sims life. So yeah, they look cute together, don't they? They look so cute together. 
arms. Aww, that looks so cute. So cute. Okay. Alrighty. About to get to this first kiss. Where is it? I just saw it and now it's not there. Oh, there it goes. Right? Let's see what this is. Oh, they're about to do the first kiss. Hold on. Where are you going? Okay, there you go. Hold on. I don't like that pose. You look pregnant. Hold on. Whoop. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. The goods. The goods, the goods, the goods. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. Look at her face. <laughs> She's like, oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Look at her face. Let's go from this side. Wait, hold on. Come on, mouse, work with me. That's actually better than you can't see her eyes open and her weird face. <laughs> that one's cute too. Alright, good. I got three good pictures. Awesome. Don't they look so cute? Oh, she has to go pee. Um. Has to be girlfriend, like I said, things move fast on in The Sims. Yay! <laughs> girlfriend! <laughs> awesome! Simone, Simone just became the girlfriend of Darren. Awesome! Exchange promise way. <laughs> I think that's the cutest thing. <laughs> the exchange promise things. That's like the cutest thing ever. Keep talking. Um. Let's see. I know she has to pee. He can't stay over, can he? I don't think you can. I think the only way you can stay over is if they're adults. Like, he can invite to stay the night or whatever. But, I don't think... Are we gonna do that? Ooh, mess around, do that. No, no, wait. No, wait. No, wait. No, wait. No, wait. I wanna mess around. <laughs> do that. Do that, do that. Oh, she got promoted. Good job. Where are you going? Oh, there's Ninja Nick walking around. It's 11 o'clock at night. Where are you going to mess around at? He's tired. You, my why you go all the way over there to mess around, my sir? Oh my god. Alright. You're walking too slow. slow. So you run in and you like walking mad slow. Let's go. There we go. <laughs> it's not even woohoo though, right? It's just like they're playing around or whatever. Oh my gosh. No, it's not woohoo. Because if it was woohoo, it'd say that he's having woohoo for the first time. But not saying that. Okay. I see what's going on with y'all. Okay. Okay, he's sleeping. Okay. He's so tired. And she sleep on the thing. 
She's sleeping on the freaking thing right there. Why you don't sleep in the bed with him? I guess they can. She could have went to sleep right here. Oh god. Anyways. This house is very fancy as you can see. They have massage tables, everything here. This is like the gym right here. This is her room. This was her parents' room. The black and the black and white room was her parents' room. The pink room is her room. Then he had a whole bunch of high tech stuff. Computer lab. Uh, this is a, the blue bedroom is a, a guest bedroom. Like I said, the father was um was a scientist. So that's what's going on there. And then, yeah, they got the piano. It's a very nice house. Um, you can't do no upgrades, right? Because you don't have the science or whatever. So, let's see. Uh, do you have any food in here? You can open it. This was food made by somebody else. Okay. Um, I definitely want to age them both up so that they can be official couple, like, you know. Um, now it's Saturday morning. He spent the night at her house, but which is fine because, like I said, his parents don't mind stuff like that because they don't want him to get out in the world and find the love of his life and all that good stuff, so he, they don't mind all of that. He definitely needs to get her to come over. Come over here, boo boo. Come on, there you go. Come on, there you go, boo boo. Oh, damn, it's so spoiled. Okay. Um. Wait. My mouse is acting up as usual. Okay, this needs to go. The Lee Queen Barbara Joe. Man trip. Sukum. Ah, Malafoy Canis. <laughs> Bima. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh. Okay. Keep talking to her. Froma choosing. <laughs> yes. Snores. You can't move in either, I don't think, right? I think, I don't know how I'm going to do it. <sighs> I could have them be like roommates or something. Embrace her. I could have them be like roommates until they age up. I don't know. But basically, this whole episode is basically just about them. Devin and... Simone, the new generation vampires, and um, you know, things like that. They look so cute together. And I don't know, because I do, since I made her, I do have control of her. Not right now, but I can. So I'm trying to think what's the best thing to do. Um, I do want to move on in the series, so I might just have them moving together as, uh, you know, they're about to be young adults. So, might as well, just, you know, like I said, you miss Sims 4, things move fast. <laughs> He's giving his girlfriend a massage, so sweet. He's giving her a nice massage. He's being so sweet and romantic. Hey, what happened? 
You being so romantic. Oh, that is so sweet. I love it. <laughs> this is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Wait, I lost it. So cute. Aw, gotta take that picture real quick. That is the cutest thing ever. <laughs> it's a good way to fill up your girlfriend. <laughs> It's a really good way to fill up your girlfriend's giving her a sweetest massage. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh my goodness. Oh my, oh my. He hasn't even seen her naked yet. So he messed around in the bed. Now she's in a towel. So. <laughs> yeah, if you like that. That was nice. Now she's feeling all good and everything. Aww. She's hungry. Wow. Well, she cooked for her. She must not have any food in the refrigerator. Does she have food in here? No, this is like spoiled. Matter of fact, you not have food for her. Be a nice boyfriend. Do that. Because. A lot of the food here is spoiled. Um, and they cook breakfast. She might not eat it right now, but she can save it for later. So make that for her, and even if she don't eat it, still it's a nice thing to do, you know. Spent the night with her and all that good stuff, so now you need to do something a little romantic and sweet and do that, you know? I definitely think I'll move them in together as roommates. Um, I might change the house, but I'm not sure yet. <laughs> this house is kind of all over the place with the way it's designed. <laughs> I kind of ja jacked it up because I made that gym, that gym room. So I made the house, the shape of the house really weird. So... I might have to get another house. I don't really like, I don't really like building the houses. Cause I'm not good at it, so I'd rather just pick a house in the gallery in the community. Cause there's so many talented people in the Sims 4 game that make great houses and rooms and people. You know, Sims. They do a really good job. So instead of me trying to make a jacked up house. I'd rather just download, yeah. I mean, you know, put a house from the gallery that somebody made that's much better than what I would do, so. So, yeah. What happened? You sleepy? Oh, so What's the matter, Simone? Can he put the eggs in the refrigerator? No? 
All right, when you're done eating, put them in the refrigerator. Um, hold on. Maybe for him to get his hunger up a little bit. And then I'm gonna say put away because that's the breakfast he made for her and I don't want it to go bad. So I'll put that away. And then she's going upstairs. I think she's going to sleep. Oh, excuse me. Um, I'm not going to find a job because I want him to age up before he finds a job. He's just chilling with his girlfriend Saturday morning in her big old house. Um, look at her working out. She's hot. Look at her. Sexy mama. His girlfriend is buff. <laughs> his girlfriend is buff. She's very toned, toned, and slim. <laughs> Look at her. Hmm? Now where are you going? You gotta pee? Why are you going downstairs? You gotta pee, but you're gonna get coffee. That don't make no sense. <laughs> you gotta pee, but you're gonna get coffee. So weird. She's taking a selfie. <laughs> she feels so good about herself. She's <laughs> I love these little animations, like these little things where they do selfies and stuff like that. It's so cute. And it's so relatable, you know? <laughs> I love it. I got the computer. Goodness gracious. There we go. Yes. So So cute. No, man, she's so tired. <gasps> Poor baby. I think I want to have them move in and then to get together. They'll have a double, um, a double birthday party. So I'm gonna work on that, and then when we come, when they come back. We will have probably have a double birthday party and age both of them up. I know he just had a birthday, <laughs> but I really want to move on with the legacy, so we got to speed things up a little bit sometimes, you know. So yeah, we might do that. We'll see. But anyways, I'll be back, guys. Thank you for watching, and um, I either be back with a continuation of this part or it'll be in a, a new part. But either way, thank you for watching. And yeah, this is Janine 618 and this is the Vampire Legacy. Working on the next generation after Juliana is was has become tired of being pregnant. 
and now her older son is going to continue for her so there you go talk to you guys later bye love ya